Been working on this uh, little mini arcade cabinet here for the like, past mm, three or four days. Um, it's, it started out as an arcade thing I found at Goodwill, which is for an iPad, and I ended up taking and as you can see, I, t I ended up taking a uh, Superjoy 76001, taking the guts out of it. it. It's powered by four AA batteries. I power it from that. I got the screen powered through a uh, through a this power adapter that I've got a. I use Velcro to hold it on the bottom till you get ready to play it. This is the original Ikea uh, AA battery box. I use it for uh, the LEDs. And there's the switch to turn the LEDs on. There's the switch to turn the Super Joy on. It's got the uh, Famicom adapter too, so it'll play Famicom games. And it's got Player 2. I got a controller uh, for Player 2. But I ran all the wires down through, uh, let's see, put the light on inside. I ran all the wires down through that from inside of uh, here, so that, that worked out pretty good. Down there's the screen, and working on the marquee here was the hard, hardest part. I kept the original little LED there, a little control, but I'll turn the lights out here where you can see it. Turn this one out too. But yeah, pretty happy with how it turned out here. It's pretty cool. This is your select, your start, B and A. This is reset. This is uh, goes back and forth through the uh, menu. Reset it and it goes back to the intro. You got Contra here. Um, select. Select right there. Start. Reset. set the TV on widescreen but I've got it on full because it just looks better but you can stretch the image if you want
actually quite a few good games built into this, but like I said, it also plays, uh, I can also play the, uh, Famicom cards on it, so. Anyways. I mean, like I said, this right here scrolls through them faster, all the way from to the... It goes back to the end.